and welcome to Discard. Today I'm going to talk about The Count Lucanor, an indie game that got a physical release recently from Signature Edition Games for PS4 and Switch. Let's take a look at the game and let's take a look at that special edition. The Count Lucanor starts off with Hans, the main character, having a problem that his mom wouldn't get him a present for his birthday like all the rest of the kids. So Hans decides to leave the house and go off on a journey all by himself. This journey starts out quite normal, but quickly things go awry when he comes to a goat herder that gets him drunk and he wakes up in an alternate dimension where monsters can eat you and you've got to do puzzles all day long to become the Count Lucanor. This is a puzzle game where you primarily travel to different rooms where sometimes a puzzle awaits and sometimes you need an item from another room to complete it. You're doing all of this while trying to avoid monsters in the game. You do not have any weapons. Your, your weapon is avoidance and, and hiding under tables or hiding behind curtains. Just getting out of the way of these monsters because they will kill you. And speaking of being killed, if you're killed, you go back to your last save. And the only way to save in this game is through coins which are rare. And you use those coins and you give them to a crow and he will save your game. But each one of those coins really matters because you can use it for different things. And it really puts that pressure on you as to you know whether or not you should save or not. The puzzles for the most part are really ingenuitive. A lot of them are, are simple puzzles. Some of them are very complicated puzzles. And there's certainly at least one in there that I would say is a pretty difficult puzzle to figure out, or at least it's time consuming. I did have one issue with this game, and that's where the frame rate would drop. And this was almost in the very beginning of this game. And it seems like a very kind of simple game, so I don't understand why they couldn't get that frame rate to be steady at that point. And I believe this is happening across all versions of the game. So that's definitely a strike against it for that happening at that point. And lastly, the Count Lucanor has beautiful art, beautiful pixel style art and cutscenes that are amazing. The music is also fantastic and great sound effects that really put the pressure on you to stay away from these monsters and figure out what's going on in this world. I've really enjoyed this game, I've really spent a lot of time and every time I set it down I wanted to pick it back up again to complete it. So I would definitely recommend this to people. It's a really cool indie game and I'm glad that it got a physical release. So as I said earlier, The Count Lucanor actually got a physical release on PS4 and Switch and a special edition from Signature Edition Games. So let's take a look at that. First up, you've got a beautiful box that has absolutely beautiful art put onto it, The Count, the Count Lucanor style art and it has signatures over the front, and these are supposed to be the signatures of the developers and makers of this game. I think it's a really cool touch, and it really brings Signature Edition games apart from the rest of these companies that are putting out physical games. It also comes with a soundtrack for the game. The soundtrack looks beautiful, comes in a really nice case, and has beautiful art on all sides of it, so it's a plus for me. I'm much happier to get a CD than some code to just go online and redeem. It also comes with a signature edition card. On one side it has art and the logo from the Count Lucanor, and one side it has a logo from signature edition games. One item I wasn't expecting to be in the signature edition was the coin. There's a coin in there from signature edition games and it's just a nice little bonus that they're throwing in there. And if you know me, I love bonuses. You throw stickers or whatever in there and it's going to make me so happy to have this and it makes the price of the game totally worth it. And then lastly, of course, you have the game. But it's not just the game, it's the game and a full color manual. Full color manuals are dead to the world, but these indie companies are putting them into their games, bringing them up and beyond what AAA titles are doing now. And this is a beautiful manual, it has lots of information and beautiful pictures in it. The case for the game has a double-sided cover. When you open it up, you have this beautiful art on the inside. It's just really going up and beyond what you expect from these companies nowadays. So I'm really happy with what Signature Edition has done with this physical release. And I hope they continue to do so in the future. And I will certainly support that by getting these special editions as long as they stay up to this super high quality. So in the end, Count Lucanor is a fantastic game with a great physical release. I certainly recommend it to everyone. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. But otherwise, have a great day and collect what you love.